Well, looks like a beautiful day to work on a Spitfire, but I have some news for you folks. Sorry, I'm gonna work on this instead. It's my first car. She was a little bit rusty. Uh, it's 1970 Cougar XR7. I essentially traded this for a bottle of vodka in 2015, and she's been sitting. Hold on, let me let me give you guys some good light. There you go. Uh, I started working on some of it already. I did this side pretty much, so you can see it's okay, minus like the rust that's kind of coming back there. But hey, it's beautiful. It's got factory green tinted glass. Which is, uh, I don't know if that makes it worth anything, probably not. But uh, it's a 351 Cleveland with a C4 automatic transmission that will soon be converted to a, uh, what is it, 4 speed top loader, close ratio. But for today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect the floor job that I paid somebody to do a few years ago. And there's kind of a lot of stuff in there. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I don't have a door handle. But I closed the door, bamboozled myself a little bit, I rolled the windows up. But uh, let's see if we can get inside there. So. I think we just give her a little bit of a little tickle down here. Oh, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> we, we do the uh, the dual dual method. That's it. Get it in there. Just Man. like that. You got a flare. Should I mean, we pop this right now? I feel like that would be the best thing to do. Question: Is it illegal to pop a flare for no reason? Put it down in the comments. Look at that. Mint. It's like it was made for that. Anyway, so there is a little bit of garbage in here. Uh, we can go ahead and clean that out and look at the floor. So I've got minty original interior. <laughs> Oof, the dust. Oh yeah. She's good, give her a little bit of sniff. Mmm. Uh, oh, my hoodie. <laughs> yeah. Beach towel. Mint, go with beach. Okay. Um, some stuff from my Hyundai. <laughs> oh, this is the original tool compartment thing, right? It goes on the spare tire. That's why I got clanging and clinging in the back. <laughs> but, uh, that's okay. Empty bag. Ah, oh, shit. Um, so, it looks like we have a toboggan in here. <laughs> He's not kidding. Let me go ahead and roll these windows down. Yeah, there you go. Uh-oh. Whoops. There you go. This is what gotta, gotta give her the uh, finger method first. You gotta give her like a little kiss. There you go. Oh, she. You know when you gotta go from both ends and you're just like. Oof. You're out of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. It's Hold like on, it'll. 16 again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're just gonna give her the old college try that we did, and okay, then we're gonna leave it. Um, to vlog in time. We're gonna go sledding. So, I know you guys thought we were working on cars today. We're actually gonna go tobogganing. Yeah, put her down. Oh. We're gonna go put her right down on the driver. Ooh. If y'all can't put down a grouping like this, <laughs> stay on my DMs, all right? Yeah, throw her down, go tobogganing. Just make sure you don't hit the wet floor sign. This is actually my mother, so I'm not going to destroy this. It's really worth it. Sentimental value times a million. So, I'm going to leave her up there. You know, that actually might be a cool look eventually. Yeah. It's actually from the same time period, roughly. Well, this is 60s or 70s, and this is definitely a 1970. And check the VIN. Yeah. But uh, you can be like those golf boys that put that stuff on the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes the window on the other side. Did you just crack it? No. No, I'd be crying. That's probably like an expensive window. Actually, somebody, uh, guys that did the floor offered me uh, like 125 bucks for this window. And I'm like, why on earth would I sell the one window? <laughs> what am I gonna do then? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to look for another green window? Boy. Anyway, he had an eliminator, which was like the next model up. But it had like a 427 Cobra Jet or something like that. Uh, Some other type of motor. Basically, it's like, she gets it. Okay. We got some NDs over here. Ah, uh, sure, not NDs. We got some. Yeah, there's some NDs in here. We got some gel. Nice. That's quality. Um, the old funnel back in beer can. <laughs> what else is in here? There is so much stuff. This but, is gonna be so quick. Oh, the safety for what oh, car? Safety. Let's take a look. I mean, I don't want to show your information, but. No, this is uh, this is from the last owner of the Hyundai. Ooh, okay. Then then that we can show. 2007. Well, it says. I don't think there's anything here that really uh, 
So did she pass safety, Daniel? Yeah. I mean, you just give anybody 100 bucks and they'll give you one of these, but... <laughs> but don't let We're not going to talk about know. that. Don't let the ministry know that. No. <laughs> that doesn't happen, okay? Give somebody like 200 bucks, not even. I like how I started making a folder for paperwork for this car. <laughs> it's completely empty. I spent time with my cursor. Here, let's take a look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's, that's how that's you know it was meant to be. Yeah, anyway. just like the autofocus right now. Uh, she's not working too good, eh? <laughs> Is anything in focus? I mean, yeah, it's the most part. Or is it focus. just like my life without glasses? <laughs> um, Let's take a look at this interior now. Then have Daniel cleaned it out a bit. Okay, let me squeeze on out. Oh, there's a tire in there. Oof. But look, it's like like the interior is all here. Yeah, like, minus the carpet. I mean, yeah, but there's like no rips in the seats or anything. Like a good there's detail would make this thing like really like OEM. Like it'd be mint. Can't wait to do that. Yeah, um, that's what I'm really into. Let's get all this schnitzel down. Oh, what is that, Daniel? Form. Hmm, that was 2000. $250. What is this car? Warrior Caroline Declaration. Oh, this is for another Spitfire I own. Oh, is that the green one? Yeah, this is that's the green one. <laughs> Can someone explain to me how I still have the ownership of the green one, but I sold the car with an ownership? I mean, I don't know. Someone's someone's hurt somewhere. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not Daniel's problem though. No, I, hey, it's been like a year and a half. No one's called me. I mm. guess that's how you know they actually just ripped that car apart. No. That sucks. I mean, it's not like I've done that three times. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and figure out how we can take these seats. Oh, Hyundai floor mats. You know, wow. Oh, that are premium. Those got to go back in the accent. We're going to clean those out. I feel like we should extract those. If you want to. I don't know how to do that. That um, would be good. Oh wow, it's sunny out now. Uh, why am I looking down here again? I'm trying oh, to explain the, the seats. Yeah, the yeah. seats have to be unbolted. So use your finger gauge. I mean, maybe, I want to say, here, let's let's use your thinks for a second. This is an American car, so this is probably somewhere around a, uh, um, metric and imperial. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be S &E. This is going to be, uh, probably like a half inch or nine sixteenths, because like everything realistically is. Um, so I'm going to make our way to the toolbox. Okie dokie. We figured out what size it was. It was a half inch. <laughs> I mean, I like smart or something. So yeah, that's the last bolt. I lost it already. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, she's a bit loose. It'd be nice if I could find the hole. There she is. But uh, yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> what happened? That's okay, we're trying to be reclining, you know? So fine. <laughs> it's okay. good for when you got the wife in this. Mm -hmm. These are going to go on the roof eventually. But for now, they're going to go right here. So the center console had some mice damage to it. <laughs> yeah, here, you want to show that? Open? There you go, let's take a look at what happened. Mouse got a little bit oh, hungry. Open sideways, that's, that's wild. We got the back checkulator. We got a uh, knobby boy for this, for the yep. rolly police. Yeah, that's They don't mint. match, so I'm definitely not going to use it. Oh man, I think they already did one on that side. Oh man, they didn't keep the original. Shit. I'm just going to source the original one. Ethically source my car parts, okay? Yeah. From far gone donor vehicle. <laughs> they don't rip apart the good ones, don't worry. No. This would be considered a parts car. Here, let's take a look that's at the your funny floor. Alright, so. Pretty solid, dude. Well, I'd, I'd hope so for what I paid for this, but <laughs> it's not. Uh, Ooh, we got the good old Canadian tire schmackos right there. Oh, well, there is a little bit of seam sealer on this. Oh, there is. There is seam sealer everywhere, actually. Damn, look at look at the whole, like... They just forgot the, oh, the, to the touch-up. Wow. Cool. It makes There's, your job easier. Well, we didn't do that on the front or underneath. So I'm going to do it underneath because, yeah. you know, Canada. It's going to rust. It's going to happen. Or I should say specifically Ontario. Good old like, Ontario Alberta, cars. Alberta, this car would be mint. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to put my finger through. Oh. Woo! If I, if I pull this out right now, this is gonna like 100%. Gonna get chlamydia by proxy AIDS. Okay, yeah, I think I have a tetanus shot, but it only scraped a little bit. <laughs> anyway, look, take a look, take a look. Mm. Okay, so I know you think you should just replace the whole door, but here's what I did on the other side. I actually cut the whole corner off and replaced it. It's a little bit rusty, but we're not going to worry about that right now. But this is a whole new door piece on the bottom. That's mint. Uh, yeah, the welding is not so good, but 
It works. It does the job. It is what it is. So, I guess what we're going to have to do is um, take things off like this. I'm trying to think now what actually has to come out. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure this comes out. Yeah, the door panel. You did it one time with me. Oh, wow, I'm screwed. Yeah, wow. You know what I should do? I should get like a container and put these things in. Is this plastic? Yes. She's plastic. So plastic is not magnetic. If, I don't know if you went to kindergarten. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Is that another? That's ownership, no? For plates? Unplated. It doesn't even say a vinery. I don't even know what card this is off. All right. <laughs> Just no toss way. that in there. <laughs> you know it's bad when you own so many cars, you don't even know what owners are like, what? Oh well, they really just rot in the field. That's it, man. Cool, so uh, let's go ahead and take the back seats out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm by myself again. Uh, I got one seat out. What I'm gonna do now is just take out the rest of the seats and put them on the roof. And then from there, we'll get a good view of the floors and see what we have to clean up. Like. You can kind of see a little bit of surface rust and things like that there. We'll just sand it down a little bit, hit it with some uh, rust converter, and we can go ahead and start spraying, but of course we need uh, all the interior out of the car. So let's get to that. Okay, so now that everything's out, I can go ahead and start sanding down just lightly over some of the areas that are like showing a little bit of rust. That boy gets some. That boy. Okay, good enough. Let's go vacuum all the debris out. And from there we can figure out what we need to paint. Okay, well, this is basically what the floors are looking like right now. They're pretty clean. Um, they've been rewelded, you can kind of see there. Uh, new floor pans, risers, torque boxes, footboards, all the good stuff. Um, yeah, so basically, I did a little bit of a spray underneath too, but I'm going to have to, when I finish painting, I'm going to seam seal it. Over here, it looks like a pretty thin coat, but you know, it is what it is. This is what two cans of the old Radley boys do. But uh, I basically am done the front. Now, I gotta do that boy right there. Just a little bit of a rusty hole, but it's okay, because uh, the whole car is pretty much all rusty. As you can see. Uh, there's some denty boys over here I gotta fix and whatnot. I don't don't, don't look at that. I'm gonna take the paint off here, you know. But look at that. I did this side minus this. This is a little bit of a surface rust came back because uh, salty boys got on it somehow. But this whole side of the car is pretty much done. And 
It's right, it's metal and a lot of bondo. But you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this car for today, all what we did. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And remember, there's going to be a lot more Spitfire content too. But, you know, we got some other cars going on here too. And uh, we'll touch up those cars as we go. Okay. Take care. Call me here.